my lovelies, it is time for another vlog, so stay tuned. Mm. So it is currently Tuesday, September 10th, and I didn't film, well, I did vlog yesterday, but that was kind of a, an overlap for my coffee patron vlog that went throughout the weekend. And so I didn't read anything pertaining to Seasonathon Academy um, yesterday, so I thought I would just wait until today. Uh, but today it was Marty's birthday, and here's a little clip from that. Here's Marty's birthday cake. I'm about to light the candles. His favorite cake is red velvet, so I got him that. And then he loves these candies, so we decorated it with that. <laughs> It's a fire hazard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marty. Happy birthday to you. Blow it out before we burn the house down. <laughs> Yay! And so the dogs can celebrate too. They got this. <laughs> One for each of them. So for my coffee patrons, I did a These Books Will Self-Destruct vlog, which was fun. Um, I, I, I did pretty good. I was happy with how that turned out. Uh, now I am working on The Burning Shadow by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is funny because this is also like sort of a buddy read thing with my coffee patrons. Um, but I am, oh, I'm only 14% of the way through that. So I've definitely got a ways to go. Um... Uh, I don't know what else I'm planning on trying to get done in this vlog. We'll see as we go. Uh, today I took Xander this morning to get um, an environmental allergy test. And on Thursday we're going to go and get him a food allergy test done. And what else? I've also been editing and I've got more that I need to edit. Though it is late and I should be going to bed very, very soon. But I'm not really sleepy, so. <laughs> we also did our walk tonight instead of in the morning. And I think that's kind of also why I'm so awake right now. Because normally by this time of night, I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm dead because of getting up super early. But I got to sleep in a little bit today. And then all the walking we did tonight kind of got me energized, which is not good before bed. <laughs> But I did want to go ahead and get this vlog started. So I guess that's it for now. And I will talk to you more tomorrow. Okay, so I can't remember exactly when the last time I checked in with you was. But it's been kind of a busy week between appointments and everything. So I, it might have been Monday or Tuesday the last time I wrote you. But uh, Monday, the dogs went to the groomers, and I had physical therapy. Uh, Wednesday, oh, Tuesday, I had, um, Xander had allergy, an allergy test for, like, the environmental allergies. Uh, Wednesday, I had physical therapy and um, a YouTube research session, which was really interesting. Uh, Thursday, I had physical therapy and Xander had a food allergy test and uh yeah between all that I've also been mostly editing and working just a little bit <laughs> so very very little bit I think the only time I worked this week was yesterday for just a like an hour and a half between physical therapy and when um I had to pick Xander up to go to the allergy appointment. It's been a week. So I have not really gotten anything read. Um, other than what I read over the weekend with my coffee patrons uh, for their, their vlog. Uh, which I, I, I did pretty good. I managed to... Because uh, it was part of my These Books Will Self-Destruct. I ended up taking two whole series off that that shelf in my living room one because I'm unhauling it and the other because I read it 
And so that was, that was cool. And then today I am going to be spending the entire day, hopefully <laughs> out working and making some money. But while I'm doing that, I'll be driving around and listening to my audiobook. So last week when I ended my vlog, I was currently working on a shadow burning, I think is what it's called. Let me see. The Shadow Burning by Jennifer L. Armantrout. And I am currently 54% of the way through that. So I have not made a whole lot of progress. Um, so hopefully I will get that one finished today. That's, that's my goal is to get that one finished. And then uh, I also have Matilda by Roald Dahl um, on Libby. So I need to listen to that because I have that just for 10 more days and there's a person waiting for it. So if I can get both of those done today, I'll be super happy. Tomorrow, my plan is to work until about 4.30 and continue listening to audiobooks while I'm working. Um, and then coming home at, at 4.30 because that's when Marty gets up and gets ready for work. And then once he leaves for work, I have my watch party with my coffee patrons, which is going to be fun. And then Sunday, my plan is to get some stuff done around the house because <laughs> my house has been neglected for a, while. <laughs> a long time. Pretty much this entire year for the most part. Um, and since I've gotten a home from this last trip... I still haven't even touched my suitcase. The only thing I've gotten out of my suitcase was the souvenirs to give to people. Other than that, every bit of clothes is still in my suitcase. <laughs> so I need to unpack. I need to do laundry. I've got just stuff piled up everywhere. I need to get my life organized at least a little bit before I go on my next trip. <laughs> so... Let's go out there, let's make some money, and get some books done. So, I'm going to do a little update here while I'm driving, so that's why I'm not really going to be looking at the camera, but hopefully I'm keeping it on my head at least. <laughs> uh, I've got you kind of balanced on my steering wheel while with one hand. Anyway, um, I just finished uh, The Burning Shadow, and there was some very interesting things that came about in this one and uh, I don't know if I said it before and if I did it was in last week's vlog but The Burning Shadow is the second book in the origin series by Jennifer L. Armantrout and sorry I'm having to turn my steering wheel and uh, the origin series is a spin-off of the Lux series, which I think is her first YA series. And so they, these came out in the early 2000s, and you can kind of tell at some points, uh, but I, I've still very much enjoyed them. And they're a little cheesier than I know she writes nowadays, but not bad, and they're fun. There is a little bit of steamy in... in this one though not like full steam because you know YA <laughs> uh, but interesting twists interesting reveals and I'm very curious to see how the next book goes I can't remember if this is a trilogy or if it's a longer series but uh Hopefully, I'll be able to get to the next one very, very soon. I don't know if I'm going to do it this month just because I still need to get to all of the readathon books. So, speaking of the next one, and I think this is one of my readathon books. I'll have to look and see when I get back home. But uh, the next thing I'm going to be reading is Matilda, which I think is another one that I should be able to knock out today. Uh, it's currently about a quarter till 5 p.m. I am tired. <laughs> like, I'm, I need a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. But, uh, I've got to make that money. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep going, keep listening, 
keep making deliveries and uh, hopefully get some more books knocked out. So last night I finished Matilda like right as I was pulling into my driveway at around 9 p.m. And I very much want to watch that movie now or the musical. It's been a while, um, but I, I could see a few differences from the book to the movie. But for the most part, it was the same enjoyable experience. I loved it. I have to give it five stars. It, it's such a fun, fun story. Uh, it's about a very precocious little girl who, whose parents, they're not very bright and they don't really care too much about her. Her dad's a bit of a crook and she goes to a school where she's got a super sweet teacher named Miss Honey and a very mean headmistress named Trunchbull. And... Matilda has a way of making those that are mean and cruel to people that are not as strong or as big, like children, be punished for their bad behavior. <laughs> and it just, it was a lot of fun. It was super cute. Uh, and then I had to go, I came home, I ate dinner, and then I had to go back out because I forgot to stop at the grocery store. And um, I started... How to Become the Dark Lord and Die Trying by Django Wexler. And I can't remember which prompt this was for. I remember one of the things was for my Cards Against My TBR where it's it's a book that's going to just make me laugh. And already it has. I'm, I'm very, very little into it. Like, I'm still in chapter one. And it's, it's already ridiculously hilarious. It's about this princess who's stuck in this time loop. And she's got to save the world or something. And she's been doing this for like a thousand years. And she's sick and tired of everything that, you know, all this torture and stuff she's going through. And so she's decided that she is going to become the Dark Lord. <laughs> and that's pretty much where I'm at. In the story she's like yeah this sucks I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> and it's told quite quite interestingly uh, anyway I'm going to continue with that today I doubt that I'll finish it today but who knows uh, I'm gonna be out working until 4 30 um, and it is 9 30 now so I'm about to head out and get, make some of that money today Good morning. So yesterday I worked hard. Uh, I did not finish How to Become How to Become the Dark Lord and Die Trying, uh, but I got pretty far into it. Uh, and then um, I was supposed to have my watch party. Well, I did have my watch party last night. I was supposed to have it uh, at six thirty, but uh, Xander ended up needing me to drive him somewhere, and so we had to push it back by like fifteen minutes because. I knew I was going to get home a little after 6.30. And so it took him, came back. Uh, we watched The Fellowship of the Ring, which I've never actually watched or read those books. So that was actually, I mean, I know a lot of people love it, but that was better than I expected it to be. Because I felt like for some reason I was thinking that wasn't going to be something I would really enjoy. But I did. I really did enjoy it. Which is a good thing because it's a long movie. <laughs> and it's funny because when it ended, I was like, wait, it's over? <laughs> I was ready to like go into the next one. But it was late and I had to get up early this morning. Uh, though when I got up this morning, Marty was like, I don't feel great. I need to just go to sleep. Can we do our walk um, this afternoon when I get up? So my plan today is uh, today is going to be a day that I get some housework done. And there's so much to do all over the entire house that I cannot, um, I can't make myself pick where to start. So uh, <laughs> that's a problem for me. So I actually started uh, doing this before and it's like a wheel of chores and stuff. And I'm just gonna spin and see 
what comes up and that's going to be where I start. Unless of course it's, uh, in the bedroom upstairs because, well, actually if it's in any of the bedrooms really, because right now Marty's asleep in our bedroom. Uh, Xander's friend is sleeping in the guest room and Xander and Braden are in his room. So I can't really access any of the bedrooms right now. So I'm going to spin and whatever comes up is what I'll do. It, um, though I think I have it set, like my wheel is not just chores, it's like chores and other fun things like diamond painting and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do any of those fun things today because I've got, I've got too much housework that needs to get done. I've kind of got limited time because uh, at three o'clock I have my live reading sprints for anybody for Camp Seasonathon, not Camp Seasonathon, Seasonathon Academy. <laughs> and then after that, Marty and I are gonna go for a walk with the dogs and then come back and cook dinner and all that stuff. And then I might try to get a little bit more housework in. So it's gonna be full day. <laughs> so I thought I would come on here. Oh, also with How to Become a Dark Lord and Die Trying, I think I have at the speed I'm going like half an hour left. So I'll be back in no time to tell you about that. But I wanted to come on here and do the little spin. I started these allergy drops and I don't know if it's the world <laughs> that's got me like this or the, the drops that have me like this. But my nose is like a freaking drippy faucet and it's, a, it's annoying. Okay, so here's my wheel of chores and fun. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Bonus room, 20, I can't do the bonus room. Okay, so the bonus room is, <laughs> it's like this thing off of our master bedroom. You have to actually go through the bedroom and through our closet to get to the bonus room. And so that's something I can't work on. <laughs> okay, let's try again. What does it say? Watch one show. Nope. <laughs> Online book shopping. <laughs> it's wanting to do the fun things now. <sighs> Listen to a record. Come on, give me a chore. I need to do some chores. Outing, what the heck? <laughs> my wheel does not want me to work on my house. I wonder, you know what, hide slice. Okay, I was trying to see if I could find a way to like hide all of those things, but it doesn't seem I can. So we'll just keep spinning. meal plan. It's not really housework that I need to do. I don't actually need a meal plan. I mean, I kind of do, but it's not like I need to do it compared to the housework. Edit video. No. <laughs> it wants me to do everything except for clean my house. Play a game. Oh my gosh. Clean the pool. Well, that does need to get done. But that's something I need to do later in the day when Xander's up. Because I need to actually put him in the pool. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. This is not not working. You know what? I'm gonna create a wheel really quick with just what I can do. 
Oh, you know what? I have it. I already have a wheel that says rooms that need work. So let me just spin that. Office. Okay, I'm gonna go work on cleaning up in the office. That was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go and work on the office while I finish my audiobook and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, so it's actually a couple of hours later. I was wrong on how long this audiobook had left. It actually had a few hours remaining. I had a half an hour of that chapter <laughs> remaining, but I just finished it. It is now 1217 and I'm going to have to give it four stars. It was really, really good. Uh, so we have Davi, who's this princess and she's stuck in this time loop where she's supposed to be saving the kingdom and she keeps finding herself either murdered or die one way or another. And every time she dies, she resets back to the same point. And when the book first starts, she's currently being tortured uh, by this Dark Lord and his minion or whatever. And uh, that's like the one thing she, she doesn't want ever is to be captured because being captured means being tortured and not just being killed and she'd rather just die <laughs> so she can reset and start over but she's been at this for like a thousand years and is sick and tired of it and she's like screw it if you can't beat them join them I'm gonna become a dark lord so <laughs> the next time she wakes up uh, when the wizard comes to like help her start her quest she bashes his head in and takes his row or his whatever he has on him and sets forth on her um, mission to become the Dark Lord. Now she dies many, many, many times in her quest to become the Dark Lord, <laughs> but um, it was very interesting. Also, side note, she is a bi character, so there are scenes with, um, well, I'd, I'd say men and women, but, um, there's a male um, fox wilder, so he's like kind of human, but also kind of fox. And then there's this female ogre lady <laughs> that she she uh, gets involved with, um, but it's fun. There, it's kind of a a lot of those kind of scenes are fade to black because. She's like, let me just um, asterisk here and we'll just have a, a brief intermission here while I do what I gotta do kind of thing. And they're, they're, it's, it's really cute. It's, there's also like the way the audiobook is done. You've got like the story, but then occasionally where it sounds slightly different, you're having like her internal thoughts or whatever. I enjoyed it immensely and I definitely one I want to have the physical copy to see if Sander would like to read it though he could also listen to the audiobook on audible since I own it now um but two I definitely want to continue the series it was as funny as I expected it to be okay so I need another audiobook for mm, continuing because I want to continue working on the house all right, give me a second to see uh, what I can find an audiobook of for the things that I need to read. Preferably for this readathon. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, that took longer than anticipated. Uh, but I got We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. And that's going to be what I listen to next. And... I don't know if I want to keep working on the office right now. I've done a lot. So let's get back to my wheel. Uh, now, there's nobody in the guest room currently. Marty is still sleeping because he's supposed to be. And Brayden has gone to work. I took him earlier. And Xander should be up now. He was awake the last time I looked in. 
Uh, so let's spin. Oh, the sound is in my ear because <laughs> I saw my earbuds on. I'm not doing the garage, not without Marty. <laughs> It sounds so weird directly in my ear, but. Okay, so I'm going to work on the kitchen. It is now 12.51, so I can work in there for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that, until I have to go back upstairs for my reading sprints. My mind is, my mind is gone. <laughs> Okay, let me get started with all of this and I will talk to you later. After I left you yesterday and I did my reading sprints, uh, I kind of changed things up a little bit. First, I grabbed my Travel the World on $50 a day book, which I have like tabbed a bunch of things and uh, the first time I read it. And so I actually went back and reread all the things that I tabbed um, to f see if there's any information that would be good for our Ireland trip. And uh, I started working on the Everything Travel Guide to Ireland and got to page 76 of this. And I have tabbed a couple of things. Uh, I did listen to a tiny bit more of We Are the Ants. I'm currently on page 66 of this so just barely getting started with it really so it looks like th last week I managed to read one book off of my or completed one class from season -thon Academy which was geography 1030 world geography read a book set in a country other than the u.s or uk uh, for that i was re i read the voices by david Be david bell and this week i haven't completed any of my classes though i mean maybe something i read would count but uh, not from what i originally had anyway now we are the ants is um on my thing so that is supposed to be for my English 2130, read an American classic or an American band book, because it's a band book. So I'll be completing that in this coming week, as well as the Obsidian Tower. Those are two big chunkers, so wish me luck. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up here so I can go ahead and get started on the next one because it is the next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!